morning to everybody that follows us every day in the message for the day. I am Ramon Leonato speaking from the Ashram for Unfoldment in New York. And today is the message, the title of the message is We are the masters of our destinies. Now, as you know, every day we do these messages uh, that include a little practice and a concept. He is the architect of your liberation. Let him do then. So, on the one side, we are the architects of our destiny or the masters of our destiny. In other words, we built our destiny. But he is the architect of your liberation, of your freedom. So anyhow, let us see what this means. Let us look at it and uh, let us come out with a practice for today. What the human being is trying to find is total stillness. Goodness produces movement, and evil produces movement. Therefore, both are bondage. So, this is a um, concept, very subtle concept. It's not that you want goodness. Goodness also produces movement. You want stillness. When you yearn, when you are tired, when, when you, you are in life, you say, what you are yearning for is peace, is, is stillness. The human being is the master of his destiny. If he uses his thinking abilities to draw to himself that which is above him, then life must change. You are the master of your destiny, so it is you that make the decisions uh, that will unfold your destiny. Uh, using your thinking abilities, you can draw to yourself everything you need to change your life. Anyone who performs his pres prescribed spiritual practices and meditation techniques with sincerity and regularity can in six months change any circumstance in which he finds himself. Because without any doubt, people are the masters of our destinies. Though the tendencies might be there, you can formulate by yourself what you want to take unto yourself. So therefore, every day, every moment, is a new moment all the time in which you are forever formulating the next moment. This moment formulates the next moment, the next moment formulates the third moment, and the third formulates the fourth, and like that it goes on. And that is why we say man is a master of his own destiny. So, we are going to make a practice of that of being a master of our own destiny. But we are going to make it, as you know, very, very simply. What do you want to be the destiny of your day? Not of your life, of your day. How would you like to arrive to the end of the day? So, maybe just sit down quietly for a minute, uh, close your eyes, and breathe, let your breath flow alone and just visualize the destiny of your day. How do you want to end your day? Because destiny at the end is how do you want to, you know, end your life or your destiny. So we are going to make the destiny of the day to begin with. And then every moment of this day, in whatever action you are performing, Make sure that you are performing that action in the direction of the destiny you want to arrive at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, tell me if you have arrived to that destiny or not. So, do it today. It's only one day. Remember, it's not for all life. But practice how you are the master of your own destiny today. So, 
What destiny do you want for tonight? Visualize it and then every moment, every action, go in that direction. And at the end of the day, look at the results. So thank you very much. I hope you have a very nice day. As you know, we are here every day. The message of today is something that you can practice tomorrow. So you can, you know, go one day back. That's not a problem. The important thing is doing it every day because this is all about practice. So thank you very much. Namaste. Have a beautiful day.